I am Anil Kumar and we are exploring inverse of trigonometric functions. The equation here is find exact value of tan inverse tan of 4 pi by 3. Now normally if you have f inverse of fx you get x as your answer but in this particular question you will find that is not true. Okay, So the question is tan inverse tan of 4 pi by 3. I like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so let me rewrite the question first. It is tan inverse of tan 4 pi by 3. Okay, now what is 4 pi by 3? Let's calculate the inside function value. Okay, so if that is the Cartesian plane then 4 pi by 3 means we are talking about an angle which is kind of like this somewhere here right so so this is 3 pi by 3 and then that could be 4 pi by 3 right so that is 4 pi by 3 so the idea here is that we are in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 3 tan is positive tan is positive right it has the acute angle which is pi by 3 correct that's the acute angle so it has a positive value so if you look into this triangle let me sketch the triangle with pi by 3 angles so that without using calculator we are in a position to write down our solution so in this triangle this is pi by 3 90 degrees the sides are 1, 2, square root 3, right? That's standard triangle, pi by 6. So what is uh, tan pi by 3? Tan pi by 3 is opposite over adjacent, so it's square root 3. So we could write this as tan inverse of square root 3, correct? Tan inverse of square root 3. Now, tan inverse of square root 3 is pi by 3, correct? We just got it, right? So, so that could be written as pi by 3. So, what you get here is that tan inverse of tan 4 pi by 3 is equals to pi by 3. Do you see? It is not 4 pi by 3. The angles are different. So, I want to conclude here by saying that tan inverse of tan is not always x. So, so we can con conclude that tan inverse of tan x, tan inverse of tan x may not be equal to x. Do you see that? That is very important to understand. The reason is that the inverse function is defined in the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now since tan inverse is defined only in this interval, only in this interval, so if we have an angle which is outside, we are going to res get result only in this interval. So we will not get that result. Do you see that? That is the reason why tan inverse of tan x and for that matter sine inverse of sine x may not be x. So it's very important to understand this part. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.